Hello, Ria Steve. Welcome back to City Skylines 2 and my village of Chillingham. In the last video, we kind of built up this whole section. We got the high school up and running, got some more houses built up, we got some mixed use structures, and I love these things. We got the commercial on the bottom, we got residential on top, we also got some farms built up. But this video, I want to work a little bit on the roads and trying to get everybody connected a little bit better. You're going to start by slapping on a road maintenance depot. This is. Um, Upkeep is 30000 a month, but it is also going to help maintain the roadways, and I do like actually having it kind of near the entrance to the city. So I'm going to actually slap that down right there. And we can also upgrade this building with an extra garage. That just goes right on top of it. We'll actually put more vehicles out there and keep the vehicles, or keep the roads in better shape. Uh, I'm going to poke over here. This is something we were running into toward the end of the last video. We still have traffic backed up over here from the highway. People trying to figure out which lane does what. Um... Yeah, this is definitely a very common uh, thing living in Texas. It is, it says it's significantly slow, but it's really just like the cars don't know what they're doing to get to where they are and to where they need to be. I did also read in the comment section for the last video that the this notification, not enough customers, it might actually be a glitch. I also have an abandoned structure here. This one's abandoned. Unhappy. How about now? Been happy now? Uh, we do actually have a demand coming up for... Uh, medium density residential, industrial, and low density residential. We have plenty of sp uh, spots we build as well. And also have a notification that there's some people out here waiting for a hearse. My only cemetery is way the heck over here, so probably putting in another death care structure would be a good idea. So we can put this as a crematorium. Can't put it on that side, unfortunately. Uh, nope, cannot get it on there on Mulberry, but I'll kind of put it right about near. That'll work. People like that. And let's also get some medium density residential in. So, so we have European style apartment buildings and we have this mixed housing. That's what I built up in the last video. Um, let's do medium density housing. Oh, since it's also the first time I've loaded up the game in a little while. Got that notification coming in. And we'll go ahead and slap those guys down here. I'll probably put down some mixed housing over this away. I'll probably put a pedestrian path in here. Let's actually queue that up. Oh, we got the Epicurean Garden, luxurious living space atop a high-end restaurant. So one of the signature buildings that you can pick up in the game. And let's go for now a passenger path. Walk paths, walking paths, walking paths, walking paths. Where are you hiding out, game? There's a little alley, bus traffic, pedestrian street, perfect delivery and service vehicle. So I actually kind of like that. Now, hopefully, this will actually let people go through and not allow just vehicle traffic to go through. I put this down, I think, in the first video, and just like nothing, it did not work. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? So you're like, right there, that's a sedan. It shouldn't be going through here. That might be something going on with the game. I'm not sure. If I had to guess, yes. That, that probably is something going on with the game. Uh, still got traffic jams coming up over here because, like I mentioned at the end of the last video, none of the traffic is going this way to get through. Holy crap, actually, Foreign Street's pretty bad also. But all the traffic is trying to come down this way and then go into the neighborhood instead of coming down and around it. Uh, let's see. Higher zone density or different zoning might be needed. What is this one here? You are... That was I can't true. tell what this is. Let me actually change the taxes here just a little bit. I, in between videos, I did put the taxes up to 11% on everything. And I think that's also what's causing some of the problems. Damn, they're all complaining about high rent. Fine, I'll put it back down to 10% each. Ruining my fun. Because I remember correctly, for City Skylines 1, you can actually go as high as... 11% before people would start complaining about this. This is also not enough customers. This is all residential, by the way. All of this is residential. And they're saying there's not enough customers in this area. I'm a little confuzzled by this. We have our industry over here, which is doing its thing. It's is a little leveling up. I'm going to turn this, uh, these talking heads down a little bit. Yeah. And I do, and I do think there are... Once a patch is rolled out, because it's being recorded on Monday the 30th. Uh, people complain about healthcare. How is healthcare doing in the city? 
Not doing great. Not doing terrible. Uh, let's check on water. Sewage treatment's good. Sewage export's good. Garbage processing. Oh, wow. Board garbage, like operating districts, collecting returning. Hmm. Sounds like we are the ones who will end up paying for it. Should we hmm. I expect the residents. Let's put that recycling unit on it too. Might help things out a little bit. Fire rescue, average fire hazard. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, right on that. Police response is pretty low down on this end of town, which is okay. Well, okay in air quotes. But if I do expand out this way, which I could do. I want to keep building out uh, the commercial stuff on this side of the river, which is a possibility. We also have good forestry over here. I should put some uh, forest industry over on this side. I do actually want to put another police station down. I think a police station would be good right about here. Improve police response having it near uh, on this corner with Mulberry Street, but probably also expanding out the housing and the grid space out this away. Could also slap down some more in here, which I think I'm going to start with that. I'm going to take a... I'm going to take a simple two-lane. I'm going to straight off this guy. Come down this way with it. We can put a little alley in back there. So we want medium density residential. And a little bit of commercials in there too. But note, this all filled up immediately. As soon as I slap these uh, mixed uses down. So I'm going to probably go with a more, uh, some more mixed use stuff. I like it. And we'll go ahead and we'll do what we've been doing. There we go. A lot of people immediately uh, building up on that. Do you see a call for some low-density residential? I don't think I need low-density. I think I just need to keep building up with medium-density. I should, keyword, be okay on that front. Now, that's going on. Uh, let's see. What do you got here? Collapsed. Weird. And two houses just uh, being built up in this place right away. Okay. That was really weird. This house is just like, oh, just house like I'm out. Okay, so we got a, was it a plaza here? Yeah, small plaza here. Okay, I'll see if we can get a playground down here. A tiny playground. Also, let's, oh, progression. We can actually go larger parks. So let's do that. Or park maintenance. Unlock that. Ooh, sports parks. That's available too for me. This incinerator plant. That'll actually oh, generate heat. Um, high amounts of ground pollution, some air and noise pollution. Not sure I want that. Our treatment, battery station. Both of those, okay. Again, don't need any of these hookups, although I would love to get, like, subways. But that's a ways down the line. I don't think I need it right this second. But I will go ahead. I'm going to lock some park stuff. Let's see if we can uh, beautify the town a little bit. That's it's what. All right. We're going to here. Sports parks. We got an outdoor game, a skate park, a basketball court. Oh, wow. These things are small. Okay. So, skate park. Skate park would not fit in there. Basketball court. Yeah, that'll fit in there. There we go. And, uh, nope, not skate park. Outdoor gym. There we go, that helps some people. Now, down here, there is not a lot of uh, park access, it looks like, so I do think a park on the corner here would be really nice. Let's see here. Anything in that structure? No, there's not. Okay. There we go. There we go. We got Boomtown. $1.4 million reward, six development points, and eight tiles. That were just uh, laid out for me there. So we got a little bit. So we have an outdoor gym, and we have a basketball court next to the giant high school complex that we've got here. Industry demand is continuing to rise, so I do think we need to start working on some industries. 
And uh, wow, a residential man just cratered, it looks like. So let's go ahead, and what's my deficit running right now? Minus 80,000, I can work with that. Alright, so we were talking about... Oh wow, that's leveled up pretty quickly. How's my livestock farms doing? Nice. Livestock farms are doing pretty nice. How about over here? We have our, just our straight grain farm. Out this way. Almost at level 5. Can we upgrade you any further? No? Okay. And we have our fruit and veg farm. Actually, no, they're just doing grain and veg. Over here. Building. And no, we haven't had any other mixed-use things pop up since then. Let's actually put an office zone down here. I'll put offices down this way. Yeah, we'll get some offices, uh, office demands addressed. Let's actually check on said offices. Okay. You need software and produce media from it. Also realizing that my train access idea just kind of went out the door when I slapped down this police station or these row houses. Because I did want to bring the trains kind of like down along this part of the road. So it may have to go underneath... Uh, this row of houses come up on this side and hook in if I wanted to build a cargo terminal down here. I think this would be a perfect area to do it. It'd be kind of like down here doing cargo trains. It is, it's an idea I've got in the long term, but let's look at he's doing this a little bit in the near term. Or, alternatively, bring it down this way. Because I do have a lot of industry right here. Let's build maybe the industry? Let me look at the map in the big picture here. Got it. I, I, I would have selected this to be, like, parallel to the river on the highway axis if I had my choice. So let's see. Let's select industry. Okay, so we have more fertile land over here. Ooh. Textile fiber farming. That's interesting. We got trees over here and over here. I could actually put in a forestry industry over here by Pearl Way. Coal? I actually have some coal mining available down here. Nothing super busy. Alright. I think just some box sand and industry is going to be the way over here right now. Or... Hmm. I have an, I have an idea. I'll do some of this eventually. But... I think some of you see where I'm going with this. Do kind of like this. Nope. We actually want to have like full size on these ones. There we go. Oh, a little too far. And back up to the main road like that. Okay, cool. I'm just going to slap down some industry over here. It's going to fill in very quickly, but there's also grain production right here. We might, keyword, uh, be able to make this work. Also, water. I'm going to do a water pumping station and kind of do it right here. It's going to be away from everything, and it's also going to be away from any pollution right now. There we go. Got a water pumping station, and hey, look, the river is going right through it. It works amazingly for me. All right, that was easy. All right, industrial demand has been satiated. I like it. Probably going to have to put some, like, light commercial or mixed use down here if I had to guess. So let's actually prep that. And this one I'm actually going to do the paint tool. So when I do have a demand for it, I'll actually have people coming down this way. Wow, look at that. All of that got built in very quickly. I guess the industrial demand was significant. I'm guessing, are they needing materials to come in this way? Yeah, this is going to make the traffic even worse if I had to guess. Internet service issues? Are we actually having, a, having to do with that here? People talking about police. And Let's see. We have jail capacity. Average crime probability is 
That's it? Just two? Okay. One thing I do... I see an issue with what I've done here. In that... A lot of the stuff's gonna have to get here. Probably coming in from this way. Which means it's gonna come down from Mont Street. Come down here. Come up here. Note that the, the traffic did not load in until I zoomed in. Which is fine. Um... These Vermont or Florence and Vermont streets are kind of going to be the. Oh, this is all Mulberry. Oh, interesting. So it's all coming out of Vermont Street, which is telling me that I may need to hook up the rails sooner than I anticipated. And again, it's oh, here we go, Telecom Tower. A server from which collection of service every time so you supply this with more network capacity. Do I earn money from network capacity? Yes, I give you a telecom tower. Oh, this is a new thing. Communicate? No, that was there previously. Huh. All right, we're gonna unlock trains. Gonna unlock. I'm gonna just gonna run down that train uh, tree real quick. And I'll do a telecom tower. Like I've used all of my space. I rent, waiting for ambulance, waiting for hearse. I only have, I think I only have one medical clinic here. But it says zero of five uses for that. Interesting. All right. So we have a radio mast. Transmits mobile data, radio traffic, and TV signals. In case of emergency, the mast uses broadcast an alarm. This costs about 500 to upgrade per month. And this is require a road connection. That's fine. What is overlapping? It looks like it's a something there. I'm gonna kinda have it central to town. There we go. That's uh, helping the peoples. Okay, and you can see the radius now. When you actually do that. You can see the, the hot zone with it. We also see the hot zone that I have with it as I move mine over the city, so. That one there should work. Can I just stick another one over here? Okay, okay, that is actually the road connection there. Okay. And probably put another one over here. Okay, we've got some coverage now in the city. This area doesn't have a lot yet, which, I mean, I can definitely gonna future proof it by putting some down here. Oh, that works. Alright. Of course, we can upgrade all the masts with uh, bandwidth increasing and a wireless network antenna. Don't need to do it right now, because again, it's just trying to see and accommodate the needs of people as it comes in. Now, rail connection. I did not want to do this one as early as I'm planning to, but I think this is going to be the way it's going to have to go. So these folks are mostly going to be waiting on supplies. So I don't think I can zone these guys particularly for any... Wait, can I zone these guys for stuff? Let's try something here. I'm going to try something here. Press and bluff. Speed bumps, parking fees, recycling, heavy traffic ban, consumption awareness. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, because I actually like the idea of having this maybe be a... Just having this as an as a industry area, but it doesn't look like you have anything that could do with that. Alright, so we have Crescent Bluff built up. Got traffic jams out here too. Oh, it's an accident. I guess this isn't my radius. Can the fire department even respond to that since it's so far away? And it's also technically outside my city limits. Still having this problem over here. That is not going to go away anytime soon. Again, if any of the traffic would just go the next route, it would this this would alleviate so many problems. Or, oh, I got an idea. Hang on.
There we go. I'm switching this out now, so this is an exit only from the development. And this is actually going to push the traffic further down. I think this might actually alleviate some issues. Because now the traffic isn't going to be stopping and trying to get down Concord Street. It's going to be now going down to this one and trying to get in on Florence Street. And I could also change Florence to be a one-way going into the city, which means everybody's going to have to kind of come out this way. I'm not opposed to that idea, realistically. They can kind of come out in this way and then out down here. It's an idea. Let's see if I can... Can I, can I fiddle with the nodes here? I do want to do something with this. Underground mode, snapping. Ooh, I can actually put a no, no left turn here. I shouldn't do that. So now they've got no left turn. They're going to have to go further down. They're going to have to come down to Hawthorne Street and come down this way. To get in here. Let's see if this works. Interesting. The traffic didn't move as hoped. Okay. Went to green. One car went. And it says straight only here. It may take a while for the game to kind of reconfigure this because all of this traffic it looks like it's trying to go this way yeah it's all this traffic it does say like straight only here and I did put a no left turn on this now we can see this traffic going on the right lane moving up a little bit and they'll be getting over here in a moment yep I can see them merging over left take this left turn down this way past our giant cemetery and now they're getting into other areas this one I can totally understand this is the lack of customers because there's a ton down here. Industry demand has increased yet again. Wow. Really? Hmm. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put in some... I'm going to put in some more road here. Now this one, I'm going to try the... I'm going to try the parallel system on this one. Auto lines. How do I do parallel roads? I remember seeing people do this. I just can't remember how, though. Okay. Hmm. How do I match to you, sir? Complex curve. Let's try that. This one will come straight off the road this way. There we go. May actually move that. May have to move this node around just a little bit. See if I can reconfigure that guy. Don't think I can. Oh, there's parallel mode. Okay, let's bulldoze this. Now that I, now that I found the damn thing. Parallel mode, increase offset. Okay, does not work in that situation. Yeah. Okay. Not what I was exactly what I was looking for. I probably could actually put that road back in where it was. 
Oh, a little bit of a lag spike there. Let's go like that, maybe. Probably continuous would be the better way to do this one. So let's actually go back and do it the right way. Make sure we have a perpendicular road coming off this way. There we go. Okay, so back here, I think just some... Like actually, damn, my office demand just shot up again. Interesting. Let's go ahead and... I'll put some row housing down here, I think. There we go. Don't know how this is going to work in the long term if industry is producing pollution and sending it across the river. That's just something to have to deal with. Right, not enough customers here. Got a traffic accident down here at the end of the... It, you're at the end of the block. How did you... I don't want to know. Let's check in on this now. Still have traffic making left turns here, even though it explicitly says don't do that. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, wow, where are we going for 27 minutes? Let's put some more industry down and then try to put a pin in this video. Right. So we got a rail connection here. It's oil deposits here too. Fascinating. All right, we got a rail connection. I think cargo rail is going to be the way to go. We'll wrap up with this. Transport. So we have bus depots, train depots, rail yard. Large complex use the storing, sorting, and maintenance of trains. Two-way train track, double train tracks, train station, okay, cargo train terminal. Passenger line railway tool, cargo line railway tool, okay. Woo, big lag spike. Jeez, this thing is huge, that's what she said. Um... Nope, I'm not getting that done this video. That is that is way too much. That's a that's a you mean in-depth project to do. What I can do though is build out another road this way. Let's do a medium road. Straight tool, right? Cool. Hook that in there. Now this one will have to curve. That's fine. There we go. And I'll put down some more industry down here. Also, have a, the office demand just uh, just backed off when, as soon as I noticed it. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the... Yeah, the grid will hook up. Oh, whoops. Right. There we go. In that area pretty well. Man, I'm just making a giant mess of things, which is kind of the standard for my gameplay, it seems like, some days. Alright, and we'll put the last one right here. There we go. Don't know why it got all janky like that, but I will, uh, I'll go with it. There we go. Got more industry being put in. Totally fine. Amazingly, the commercial demand didn't really increase this video. <clears throat> Stretch. And I did also, I, remember, I mentioned it earlier, I'll mention it again here just because I keep seeing not enough customers for everything. It might be a glitch in the game. It just... It doesn't, like, there's, especially in these mixed-use developments, we have a lot of folks that are nearby. It could also just be the traffic is so bad in my town that we're running into this problem. I think a lot of folks who are coming in are just, like, trying to get in from outside of the city, which right here, 
I would love to put down something like this, but once I figure out how much real estate I'm going to need for this giant train depot, again, it's that big. It's pretty big, McLarge huge. Like, I don't want to kind of shoehorn it in and then build around it. It's a big-ass thing. You can't actually build on top of it. That's unfortunate. This also cost $150,000 or credits or whatever the heck it's uh, going under as. But it would take care of everything for the city. And I don't know if I want to put it here, where it predominantly makes it have to go towards this side of it, or if I want to set it up in its position, maybe build out this way, put it on this line. I'll just kind of explain what I'm doing here real fast. Grab this too. If I put it down on this line, on Dale Street, if I do something like that, maybe, I'll have to, like, bulldoze part of Dale Street to make it work. Put it, like, there. Then... I could take the cargo trains, run it down this way, the hook in over here, where my plan was to put a cargo terminal down, and also put a rail terminal down here. I'm going to have to figure this out in the next video, because I don't think that... This is definitely one of those situations I'm not going to figure out in this one video, but let me know what you think, because I do record these ones... Or I don't, I should say. I don't record these videos in... Um, in succession, I usually record one video at a time for City Skylines with Surviving Mars. I usually record two or three in a sitting just because this game, I think I take... Oh, we have something on fire. Um, my firehouse is down here? Yeah, you have been dispatched. Cool. They are responding. I'm going to follow this fire truck. Um, with City Skylines, I usually do it uh, one at a time. Or one at a time for City Skylines to two or three for Surviving Mars. So... Usually, when I have, um, he just drove into the fire. That works. Okay. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. I just. This has been a local public service announcement. Apparently, road conditions are so bad. There's a public service announcement saying roads are crap. Um. Interesting. We're not like we have one road maintenance vehicle working, but apparently that is just awful for us. Hopefully, a patch will get rolled out between now and the next video. If it is, especially on Game Pass where I'm playing it, I'll talk about that in the next video. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.